All right, get the orbs. <laughs> the counter battle in <laughs> Yield, your strike is on. Work together with fellow players to defeat your foes. If you bow now, you can receive rewards after the event ends. Wow. Thanks for the reminder. Literally asking you to click a button. Oh. <laughs> All right, no, don't remind me later. In fact, don't even remind me this is a mode. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Why would you remind a player to press a button? Ugh, what are- Whoa, this is really long. What the heck? Oh, it's all the yellow stuff. Whoa, whoa. You guys- This is the longest event schedule. Wait, it doesn't mean that it has the most stuff. It's just literally the longest. Yeah. But everyone knows. Length isn't all that matters. The technique and girth also matters. Anyways, Final Heroes event schedule from the 10th- Uh, today's the 10th to the first, the sorry, January 10th. All right, cool. Bound Hero Battle, Innocent Erica, it's about to expire, forging bonds, path to the future. I mean, I, this forging bonds, it's already out, I know, but I wanted to talk real quick about it. It's been super fun, actually. That, that chop storyline has been pretty cool. And that should be, I wish they just made that standard and normal story. Like, how cool is that? You get, you get Arthur, you get Bartray, you get the new guy, I already forgot his name, but it doesn't really matter. You get Legion, you get a whole bunch of heroes, uh, Dorcas, and everyone's just talking about being muscular men who chop on some wood. Totally not gay, but it's been hilarious. That is the stuff of story that the game should focus on. You write some fanfic like this and make it in, put it into like a basically official, well, this is an official Fire Emblem game. Fans dig it up. That is hilarious. It's fun. It's good. Yet we get book four where we're all of a sudden in fairyland. Like, I don't care if it's part of Norse mythology. It hardly fits Fire Emblem at all. Anyways, that's the stuff I like. It's been a lot of joy. I hope they keep doing stuff like that in the future. They have been, actually. Forging Bond's, like, storylines have been pretty, pretty fun. Though they don't really matter is an unfortunate part because, you know... They, you basically help these heroes out with whatever it is, and then that's it, the story ends. But I'm hoping they put, like, a mainline story, an epic, right? Forget the book format with, uh, with Ascar and Trio. They don't even matter. Anna doesn't even get her part in the story anymore, you know? Something like that would be really interesting. Just just replacing it. Not repl well, putting on the side of it, something like that. Anyways, Forging Bonds, tons of fun right now. Anyways, Grand Hero about Kempf. Um, we talked about Kempf, though I haven't released the video. <laughs> Uh, Kempf, super, uh, Kempf is actually super good. He basically is like, who's the guy? Nino's husband, uh, Jafar, he, in terms of like dealing chip damage. He basically has pain and a flash in his weapon. So if he runs in, he can deal chip damage and take away your enemy abilities to counterattack, attack, which is super useful. Of course, it's awkward because he doesn't hit that hard, but he's all about dealing splash damage and allowing the rest of the, rest of the team to get their battles in without getting attacked back. So if you run Savage Blow, Savage Blow on him and his pain weapon, you can do 24 damage to heroes within two spaces. He's actually really, really good. I would totally build him for Arena Assault, but I gotta figure out a team to put him in. Anyways, Kempf is good. So yeah, I look forward to him. And I liked him in the story because he basically said I'm better than Reinhardt. Or who, ca who, cares? who cares about Reinhardt? Which is exactly my thinking too. Grand Conquest on the 12th, doesn't really matter. Um, I guess you just take the orbs and feathers. That's nice. From 16th to 26th, Tempest Trials. Oh, Tempest Trials is almost here as well. Oh, what could it be? I mean, 26th is the day after Christmas. Uh, do we dare talk about a potential Christmas Tempest Trials? That would be super fun if that was the case. Anyways, on 19th, Grand Hero Battle Revival, Deltia, Tatara's Puppet. Delthia is a really good blue mage. I would suggest people build her. It's super easy. Just pure desperation. She comes with Deplo even. I believe she comes with desperation too. So she's basically pre-built. And her uh, tome allows her when in entering combat to debuff your opponents by 4 on everything. Or does it buff her by 4? Whatever. Whether you buff or debuff by 4, it's the same result. And it deals some 4 damage ship damage on her. She's really good. And there's something about uh, killer lollies or soulless lollies. <laughs> Anyways. 
Uh, of course, Encore Illusion Dungeon on the 22nd. Encores don't matter. There's no orbs. Hall Forms on 21st. Oh, Hall Forms is back! I'm interested about that. Do you guys think Hall of Forms will be improved? Hall of Forms, when you start out, it's a lot of fun. But unfortunately, by the end, it's just nothing. How can you like Kempf when he also treats all win like garbage? Okay. It's a necessary evil. The word- Okay. Reinhardt treats Owen really well. But fuck him. I mean, <laughs> But screw Reinhardt. Anyways. That doesn't matter to me. Luxury Hero Battles on 24th to- Oh, that also tells you when the Luxury Banner is, but we'll get to that. What? Man, there's actually quite a few events for winter. Uh, Bound Hero Battle, Leaf and Nana's return. Uh, it's whatever. It's not a hard DHB. Uh, Roker Siege is on 26th to 31st. Um... <laughs> I also don't care about Roker Sieges anymore, to be honest, but I'll feature it and I'll talk about it when the downmine comes out. Uh, Legend of Hero Battle. I wonder, I wonder who it is, but we'll talk about that when it comes. Anyways, Hall Form. I hope I hope they improve it so that it has a proper ending. Like, Hall Forms, you basically just beat all the stages and that's it, you're done. Which is kind of boring because most people can finish that within like the first three days if they really push it. Especially with all the blades you got. But if they put like actual bosses at the end, I mean, I mean, you look at Hall of Forms picture and it's just like all these legendary and mythic heroes. That's really, really cool. Unfortunately, you don't actually battle them at the end, but it would make perfect sense if you battle them at the end. If you have something like meaningful at the end, Hall of Forms will improve. But if it's just the same thing, which it likely is, uh, but they took a month off for Hall of Forms. But yeah, Hall of Forms is super good. Also, if you guys are part of the Nimdom, our Discord, we are now featuring Hall of Form builds. Now, don't get me wrong, like, I, we don't want you to make the builds, like, we want us, we want people to show off, like, what they got our, um, through RNG, and the cool stuff they got to make with their heroes. So, we're actually in the process of making the first Hall Forms, uh, we are super stalled on that right now, but yeah, we're, we're going to make the second Hall Forms. So, if you have Hall Form heroes that are super cool, we would love to feature them. But yeah, that is for the future, that's something we had in, uh, have in mind. Anyways, Forging Bonds on January 8th. That's cool. Don't know who they are. Bound Hero Battle on January 3rd. Fey and Dune. Wait a second, what? I don't... I haven't played enough of Sacred Stone to know about Fey and Dune. It's Sacred Stone, right? Uh, anyways, yeah. I don't remember their interactions, so I'm looking forward to that. A dude's pretty hard to kill in a lot of situations. She's armor, but can't debuff her, or she buffs herself and negates her debuff. So, oh, that'll be interesting. It's Binding Blade. My bad. I was just so confused for a moment. I was just, for some reason, I keep thinking Faye is in Binding Blade. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it's Sacred Stones. But then I know it, I. Okay, anyways, no, it, it, I'm just gonna shut up. My mistake. Um, but yeah, January 2nd, Tempest Trust Plus, and 31st is voting on whatever. Wow, there's a lot of events. We're basically stacked on events. And, like, the biggest gap of events, like, every reset of events, basically, we have something, if not two things. That's pretty cool. Think of Mer. Yeah, 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 I, I will think of Mer. I don't know why, it's weird. It's just really weird for me. Uh, hopefully, hopefully with um, with winter break coming up, I can finish three houses and eventually work on the other Fire Emblem games. Anyways, on the twentieth, we have something focus. Up to the twentieth, we have new power. New power doesn't really matter. Just basically pull for Mia because I think she's only five star exclusive, right? So yeah, go for Mia. Something focus. Bound hero battle doesn't really matter. New hero something event. All right, real quick. How many of you guys have posed with Thracia Vanner? I'll wait. Because as much as I like the banner, it's so hard to pull on. If you get a red 5-star, 50-50 chance on Marita and I... Ival? I still can't say her name. 50-50 chance. If you get Ival, chances are she demotes. So, ooh, that's a hard sell. You already got a free Peony and she's a support hero, so do you really need more? I mean, light... Light... Mythics, we now have two free ones in Air and Peony, so you don't really need uh, to pull for the reasons of Ether Raids either. Um, the Muscle Guy is pretty interesting, but I don't like how his DC only works at 50%, over 50% HP. So, yeah, it's a hard to pull banner. It's not even, you can't. 
It also bothers me so much. Chat. I just feel like this year's Faye channel, they didn't give a crap. They basically said, hey, do you remember that banner we were going to release around uh, in December? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a Thracia banner, right? And this is like some IS developer to the, uh, to the exact board. Hey, uh, this year we're not doing far-fetched. So you know what? How about we put this new hero that we're going to give away for free onto this Thracia banner? And then everyone's like celebrating like, yeah, that, that was all the banner. And then they change the name so it doesn't even mention Thracia. How in the world can you call it New Hero Summon Event, Book 4 Begins, Peony, and more? This banner is mostly Thracia. This original banner name was something Thracia related. And then Peony comes in and they just erase all that away. That is the biggest slap in the face to Thracia fans. Oh boy. Oh, thanks, Jazo. Uh, let's see what you asked. But yeah, that's that really bothers me. How um if you need someone on stream right now, I can join. If not, just at me when um oh afterwards. I just want to get through this real quick. Anyways, that's wacky. Focus double special heroes. Now that was not on the list, and now that's out. Uh I think in the future we need to look for these focuses. The double special heroes, it per makes perfect sense because from the name. Instead of like 3% special, 3% focus, which are special heroes, 3% non focus, it's 3% and plus 3% on special heroes. So literally, that means double special hero. And they also double the banner from 4 to 8, and they're all special heroes. Really interesting. Two of each color. We, we talked about it already. I like this banner. I, I like this uh, surprise. It's super big for in the future. Additionally, summon focus, Tempest Trials Plus on 13 to 26. I guess that's a big hint. Um, the biggest thing is on the 15th, we have the Special Heroes event, which of course are your Christmas heroes. Looking forward to that. Ooh, who knows what they'll, they'll be. But Christmas heroes have historically been really, really good. First year, they introduced Bullfighter, Ventral Fighter. Um, they also produced another hero that had close counter in, in Tharja, Christmas Tharja. Second year, it was still really good, like solo... Um, Oh man, I, I'm I'm blanking. But yeah, like Erica is re was really interesting. There was a whole bunch of interesting heroes. Her brother was really interesting too, um, especially as a Gale Force hero. Like the, it produced a lot of interesting heroes. But yeah, Christmas banner is usually pretty pretty impressive. Uh, additionally, so many focus heroes with rally skills. I hope that they're rally pluses. That would be more valuable. And then on January first, it's so many heroes, uh, so many focus heroes with brazen skills. Hopefully that includes heroes with like, technically it could be like Fallen Tick or something because she has like uh, Brazen Attack Speed. Hopefully these heroes with like Brazen Fours or something, if that's even possible. But yeah. Um. Also, Christmas is most likely to stay as armors. It's it's just what they've established. Anyways, from the 24th to the 5th, it's Legendary Hero Summoning Event. 24th to the 5th? Wait, is that extra time? That is... That's extra time, right? That's about two weeks. What? Oh, thanks, Dragonskin. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Okay, because usually isn't it just like nine days or something? That's that's all right. Whatever. It's it's a lot of days. Unless I'm going crazy. Anyway, somebody focus bound hero battle. The bound hero battle, of course, is Fey and Dune. So a chance at Dune. They would be pretty worthless. But yeah, the Dune's nice. And then new hero summoning event. New hero summoning event. Those are not special heroes. So that isn't... That isn't New Year's? New hero summoning. Alright. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much stuff. Somebody focus Tempest Trials Plus. There's also special heroes revival Winter's Envoy. Special heroes revival Gifts of Winter. Those are first two special um, winter banners. Special Heroes Revival Happy New Year, Special Heroes Revival New Year's of Fire and Ice, and Special Heroes Event. Okay, no, there, that's, there's New Year's. I was just thinking, like, there's no New Year's? There's no way. But this... They've crammed this thing and made it so long that it was hard to notice. It's just You're just expecting it to be like, this is a block of green, this is a block of blue... No. It's just like the green just forces its way down. And it's... <laughs> it's mostly because... The names are so long. Special Heroes Revival Winter's Envoy. Jesus, that's long. Anyways. Yeah, tons to summon on. But if I were a smart guy, I would only summon for the Special Heroes event. 
maybe big maybe depending on how good those special heroes are but i would just focus my orbs on ledger hero summoning event at this point i feel like you know how they're handling special heroes now special heroes will come back yearly special heroes will be on ledger mystic banners and special heroes will be on things like double special heroes which features like the most recent summer heroes for example so yeah that is really interesting but um don't go out of your way for special heroes events anymore the revivals, you might want to change your mind if you've been struggling to get one of your favorite heroes, but otherwise, don't do it. Anyways, as for the rest of the quests, art, Axe Arts quests, I like that. It uh, matches up the chop stuff really well, which is pretty cool. Or promote December edition is whatever. Oh, jeez, is there going to be another special? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so on, on, until the 19th, we have the special or promo December edition. From the 31st on, we have New Year's Celebration. Oh, it's going to be back. Chat, I got to ask you. Do you think this New Year's Celebration is going to feature a $100 banner? Well, it's not $100 for Americans. It's $100 for Canadians. Do you guys think it's going to be ridiculously expensive again? Last year, it blew people's minds because they're like... And the worst part is, like, it's after Christmas, right? Most people spend most of their money before Christmas, where you, all, you have all the good deals and whatnot, or immediately after Christmas. This thing shows up on the 31st and asks, and would ask you for like $100. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I would expect it to feature the super expensive bundles, but I think they smarten up and they'll do cheaper bundles. Like, I mean, they did, I think they did Black Friday pretty good. Now, within respect of the game, it makes a lot of sense. Within respect of gacha economies in general, it still doesn't make sense. I still think they charge us way too much for orbs, right? Because you basically have to spend like $70 to kind of reach like the median of getting one hero on like a legendary or mythic banner on a normal banner, good luck. You can't ask players to pay that much money. Like there's always a chance, I know, but if they don't, if you don't can't even establish a median, that's way too expensive. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good deal with respect to what they have in place, but what they have in place isn't a good deal anyways. So I don't really suggest people spend money, but if you're going to spend money anyways and you were going to do it, it's better to get a bundle because you get more out of it. It's just like $80 max in USD. Thanks for letting me know because I don't actually know that stuff. I'm Canadian, so I, I get everything in CAD. Uh, Casey says, you gotta love that you're giving us summer heroes in the middle of winter. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. That means we can expect Halloween heroes in spring, Christmas heroes in summer. Are you are you doing this by season? I want everyone to know, aside from me not understanding USD because I'm Canadian, I also don't understand seasons. In Canada, we don't really have seasons. We basically have um, almost winter, winter, uh, <laughs> uh, road repair. Because <laughs> after winter, that's what they do. They repair all their roads because their winters messed them up. Um, what was it again? Okay, but yeah, we basically don't have four seasons. It's just primarily winter. <laughs> I remember in Discord, people were arguing with me like, Nibs, you don't understand, it's autumn. Like, dude, it's been snowing for two months now. How can you tell me it's autumn? Oh, anyways, yeah. Hashtag being Canadian, right? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, in Canada, that's, that's basically it. It's, it's just mostly winter. I still remember a couple years ago when I was in university, we had the polar vortex or whatever, and it was colder on in Canada at certain times than it was on Mars. But that's like a big asterisk because it's not 100% true. It's like the warmest day on Mars and it's colder on Canada in Canada. But still, it's it's horrendous. You walk out and your snot basically freezes over and your your skin chips and it they give you a weather warning. Even though like it's not a crazy snowstorm outside, you don't you're not supposed to go outside because it'll literally like destroy you. Anyways, that's Canada. <laughs> I love it though. There's something special about snow, right? Like it, when you're walking with your friends down path and there's snow on the side, you push them into snow. It's 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 hella fun, right? And if, when it, when you need to hide a body, you just push them to snow, and uh, no one will know until spring comes around, right? Anyways, um, and then all the login bonuses. At least at the very least, we have login bonuses from the from straight up from until until the eighth. Yeah, New Year's login bonus followed by Book Four lo begins login bonus. Tempest Trials login bonus, Special Heroes login bonus, Modus Call login bonus, Tempest Trials login bonus, Special Heroes login bonus, New Year's login bonus. That's a lot of stuff. Just make sure to log in every day, and then you'll be good. 
Anyways, that's the, the banner. Big things. New Year's celebration on the 31st. Uh, if you're gonna spend money on orbs, better save it for that. You'll probably get more out of it. Um, though I don't condone spending. I'm also free to play. I don't think I say enough. I'm free to play. I don't spend any money on the game. Uh, big dates are also 24th, which is funny. The day before Christmas, they release um, the Legendary Hero. Also 15th, which is our Christmas Heroes. And the 31st for New Year's Heroes. But those are your big dates. And also, Double spe Special Heroes is pretty interesting, but yeah. Oh, and Hall Forms on the 21st. But yeah, that is your calendar. Sorry for going off topic a bunch, but uh, it's a big, big month. Very, very long, literally long calendar. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed.